We have gone through a week of hell since we've gotten our helium miners. I don't want to sound like a bitter berry, but man, has it been a ride. Stay tuned. Nerdy Dude Stuff. What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to another video about Bitcoin, cryptocurrency, Algorand, and all that good stuff. If this is the first time on the channel, please take a moment to consider hitting that subscribe button, turning on the bell notification, because I try to post one to two videos every week, so you can always be notified, and maybe leave a comment. So today we are going to be discussing my troubles and trials and future plans after one week of helium mining with two miners. We had them all set up. We had them ready to go. We've gotten all the troubleshooting. We've gotten all the ports forwarded. We've gotten everything to the perfect point that to have these bad boys ready to go with the exception of our antenna placement. So with that, let's start taking a look at some of the crap that I've been dealing with all week. For those of you keeping track at home, today's beer of the day is Hopped and Loaded, an IPA brewed out of Castle Rock, Colorado, coming from 105W Brew Company. This is 7.2% alcohol by volume. It's an unfiltered IPA, not really in that hazy territory because it's got a very hop forward, earthy drinkability to it. Cheers to you guys. All right, just to give you guys the number right away, if that's what you're looking for, we have our miners pulled up on screen here. We are the top two, and you can see that this one miner, I will disclaim this really quick. The network is currently down, so the miners are resyncing, and they're not currently online, currently mining right now, so you're going to see those yellow lights. But we have our first miner right here. We've at 0.24 uh, HNT, and then our other miner is right here, and that's at 0.14 HNT. And that's going to bring us to a total of 0.38 helium in one week. And at helium's current price of 12.44 times 12.44, we are currently sitting at four dollars and seventy-two cents. And remember, we spent about five hundred dollars on each of these mi on these miners. We do have two miners, and so we're only four dollars into our a thousand R O. I. We've already gone through and we've opened up the ports. We've already gone through and we've hardwired these. Why, even though they're Wi-Fi and wireless, we've hardwired our my our miners into our Ethernet ports and every er, into our Ethernet um, mode uh, routers, and we've got everything all set up. Take a look at my setup here. Here is our current setup. I've got the Bobcat sitting right here, and I've got this four dBi antenna that came stock with it sitting right out the window. The problem is I had to move everything into my master bedroom because that's where my modem is and my router is right behind me. So I wanted a direct connection from e with ethernet into the Bobcat miner. But this puts me between my house and the house here versus in my office, which we had earlier, had a direct line of sight out into some open roads at the top of a hill. So what we're probably gonna do is we're gonna take this, we're gonna put it up through the attic, and we're gonna put it on our roof with a 20 foot pole to see if we can start getting some coverage. All right, so the problem with some of our coverage right now is we don't have our antenna outside uh, as high as we possibly can go to try to get line of sight or some kind of connection to these other helium miners. And I'm looking at this map here and I've done some charting between when we purchased the Bobcat miner, they say that the four DBI antenna that comes stock with it can reach a range of about 10 miles. You know, I understand it's based on placement. I'm in a very suburban area. I'm at the top of a hill on where I live. And technically I could have direct line of sight from my two miners because my other miner that's in my in-laws house is also sitting relatively atop of hill. If I got onto the roof of my house, I could potentially see their community as well. And another thing that I've been trying to do is I've gone through and looked at the distance between the two here, and that's currently two kilometers. It's about 1.5 miles in total. And then from here to here is about two kilometers. This is from another individual. And then from here to here, we're looking at about three kilometers as well. So that's still all within a 10 mile range. And then we have these other miners that are all out here that we should theoretically be able to access, but we're just not getting any connection. So we're gonna pull into our miner here. And this is my first time using the actual Helium um, Explorer 2.0. And yes, right now it says it's offline because the network is having issues. But looking at the activity, I've gone a few days without even getting anything. I've gotten a few challenges, you know, challenge created, challenge created, challenge created. But you could see here, the last time this miner earned rewards was three days ago. And then we earned a reward yesterday. So we had a three day gap, even though we've had challenges in there. 
we have no witnesses whatsoever and if we jump down to our second miner we're kind of looking at the same boat and this one's earned even less so we're going to pull that one up as well we're going to look at the activity here and we see that as soon as it loads we had a challenge um we've sent a beacon we've sent a beacon we've had challenge 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 we haven't had a mining reward on this one in four days so i really don't understand why and the placement of the antenna on this miner is much better than the placement of the antenna on my miner up here because this antenna is sitting in a window looking directly out into an open street whereas this antenna is sitting in between two houses now theoretically when i was looking at the placement of my miners and looking at other people's miners being that i have this small area around me i've seen miners hitting these distances but i don't know what their setup is so we've got this individual down here who also started mining around the same time i did and they look like they've been pulling in a little bit more so let's see what their activity looks like as well and again they're also down because everything's down but it looks like they're getting challenges every they got two in one day so they got you know two in one day there and then a day and then they look like they're getting everything every 24 hours. Do they have a witness? They do have a witness. And I'm assuming their witness is their other one that's in their network as well. And they, because they have two inside this grid. Yeah. So Breezy and Warm are witnessing each other because they're both within this octagon. Not necessarily do you need to be within the octagon to be witnessing because you really want to make sure you're 350 meters apart. But even with them witnessing each other, and I know that I've been kind of stalking them their rewards are down low their rewards are 0.5 whereas my rewards would be at 0.1 just because i have multiple hot spots outside of that hexagon and they're getting their rewards half because they have two within this but they're at least getting to witness each other a buddy of mine daily mint who's got another youtube who's got a youtube channel he also received two hotspot miners the same or three hotspot miners the same day that i did but he's already pulling in like a hundred dollars a day just because of his placement i'm not going to pull it up on my screen because i don't have his information pulled up on the computer but i did pull it up when i was looking and we were discussing it and he's got a beautiful network it, his looks more along the lines like this where you see multiple hotspots covering multiple hexagons in these areas with a few more that are even closer so his are actually getting witnesses and getting pings uh so let's just pull up some of this where if we have people so this person's got 1.4 in the past 30 days let's see what their activity looks like they say no witnesses but so that just means they're probably leaving their antenna inside and it's not a good spot let's check this one Let's see if you're getting witnesses and stuff no witnesses as well and then that's none as well so it looks like maybe a lot of us have terrible placement in our, on our antennas so what i'm going to be doing here yes i was sold the dream yes i watch voss coin yes i watch a few other people about helium miners and i see that they've all been very fortunate enough to get into like consensus groups which is going away and they've been getting like some massive dollars like to the point where they paid off their investment on their miners three four five times over in one day so that really did a big draw to get us into helium mining so what we're going to do here going forward to try to hopefully recoup because at the end of the day my goal is to get my two miners right here to communicate and talk back and forth that way what they can get challenges and witnesses bouncing off of each other and i'm going to be looking into buying some six dbi uh omnidirectional uh antennas and then i'm going to be running 20 foot extension poles on the roof of my house and my in-laws house and we're going to see if that's going to get these guys to connect to each other and we're going to run that probably within the next week we're going to be ordering those and getting the parts and putting everything up on top of the roofs and then we're going to see if we can get these hotspot miners to get out to these in this area i think even if i zoom up a little bit because all of this is still within a 10 mile radius of me we can hopefully this could be our center point and we can ping off of even this guy all the way up here ping off ping off ping off witness 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 and then have this one witness 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 and then we can have this one hopefully get some witnesses and then maybe we can start getting some momentum going with our helium earnings uh am i really familiar with setting up all that no but everything's trial and error in this day and age. And that's just the way I like to go. And plus, the more that I try and the more things that I do, the more content I could bring you guys. So it would be really appreciated if you hit that subscribe button and turn on bell notifications so that way you could stay up to date as we venture into this helium hotspot mining. Now, we are also on the outskirts of like, I mean, we are in Florida and we live relatively close to Orlando. And I do have a few friends in the Orlando area. I want to see if Orlando's a nice spot to have stuff plopped in. 
Oh, yeah. Look at these guys in the middle of Orlando. 136 HT in 30 days, 109 HT in 30 days. Man, that one right there, 136. Let's see what that's running at times 12.44. So this guy just made $1,600 in 30 days. So obviously you want to be in a nice condensed city area to get those kind of rewards versus being way out here in the suburbs just outside of Disney and the tourist industry and you don't really have a lot going for you. So maybe I can look at a couple of my buddies and see where they live and see if maybe you know, I can pay them you know, 50 bucks a month to put a hotspot in their house and let it ping off of this. Like maybe I got someone that lives in this area and we could ping off of all that. But that's really got to be the dream. And especially in this area, as long as you've got yourself. Oh, look, another Hillcrest. As long as you've got your, I mean, I'm assuming the four DBI antenna that I come with could hit these because it wants that 10 mile coverage if we get that good line of sight on it. So really there's hope there. But at the end of the day, looking at where I am, you know, you spend $500 on these miners and then you just, if you're a lone wolf, it doesn't really look like you're going to be getting anything attractive right now especially since i've only made four dollars in the past week you know so that's just what it is i don't know if you guys have any uh input or anything or if you are helium miners with a similar scenario where you're a lone wolf like me but you put like a monster antenna on top of your house or roof or a giant pole or anything like that leave me a comment below i'd love to discuss like the mechanics of it or you know the functionality of it and everything that you guys did that way we can do some trial and error and we can maybe start generating some h and t especially before the happening that's coming up so that's gonna do it for me today guys thank you very much for watching uh, if you made it this far subscribe turn on bell notification like comment the video um reach me on telegram discord twitter email all those avenues i try to respond pretty quick but otherwise thank you very much for watching like comment subscribe all that good stuff i'm oprias and we'll see you guys next time